What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we are going to buy some stuff on Mercury Farm. So we used to be on Mercury quite a bit. And we did our 28, 29 episodes and, and I said, okay, you know, I think it's time to kind of move on, do some other stuff. Well, you guys said otherwise. So I say, you know what? Let's jump back in. So we're going to do a couple videos this weekend on Mercury Farms as well as some live streams. I think both of the live streams this weekend are going to be on Mercury Farms. So very exciting, awesome stuff. We will be streaming all weekend, but if you're watching this in the future, that's already happened. Make sure you go check out the live stream sections on the channel. Regardless, we've got stuff we need to get. And we are going all Massey, baby. That's right. We need to get all three of the Massey tractors. We need to get the telehandler. We need to get the new ideal. Uh, and we are going to use some modded headers for that. So it'll make it a little easier for us. And we need to get both man trucks. Well, we already got one. So while we're at it, why don't we go ahead and buy the other one? Yeah, yeah. Main color, Massey Ferguson. Rim color, we want to make this silver. And then design color, we're going to go with Massey here as well. Boom. I do like that full red truck look. I think it looks great. And we are going to keep the trailer board tires. I think they look the best. And we are going to purchase that. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Oh, they're twins, baby. Yeah, yeah. A little different setup, but it's cool nonetheless. Now, what are we going to put on the back of this thing? We are going to go with a tipper. And we are going to go with... If we can get over to it, we're going to go with this guy, the grain container, 45,000 liters. And this one, we're going to go with silver as the setup for this. I really want to go with the silver because I think it'll look the best. We're going to purchase that. Boom. Now it's time to get the tractors. So let's go over and we are going to go to Massey Ferguson. This is going to make everything a whole lot easier for us. First things first, we're getting the Massey 5600. Now, what do we get? I think we're going to go big engine all the way on every single one of these. We'll set up. Let's do, ooh, what do we do? We are not doing standards. Let's go wide tires. Front loader? Oh, yeah. Let's purchase that. And we need a front loader for that. So let's go get us one of those. Now, this is going to be for pallets only. Our telehandler will be doing all of the other uh, the heavy lifting stuff with the bucket. So let's get that. And pallet fork we're gonna go over here to onyx boom boom and boom spending money baby i love spending money next up is the 7700 i love this tractor we'll set up we're going all the way wides with weights actually or should we do generics with uh how does this tractor look you know what let's just go oh i don't know what to do <laughs> Let's go, you know what, wide tires and weights. I love the wides with weights. We are gonna go with the biggest engine setup right here. Give us 280 horsepower. No front loader on this guy, no front loader at all. And then the big boy, oh yeah, 400 horsepower. And we're just gonna do wides, no weights on here. Yeah, I mean the weights, they do look good, but I don't wanna get the two tractors confused. So, and eventually we may have to do this right here. I'm not sure if Mercury really needs this. You know what? We're just going to buy it like this. Boom, boom, and boom. So we got that. Let's go with this guy right here. Let's see. Do we communal? Trailer Borg. Now, Trailer Borg definitely looks the best. And for this guy, we are going to get the universal bucket right here. The lightweight universal bucket. Main color. Uh, let's do Onyx. And the design color, we're going to go over here to Massey Ferguson right there. That looks awesome. Telehandler setup. Boom. Boom. Perfect. What's next? That's pretty much it. We need a direct drill and a small tipper though. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's go in. We had one and I got rid of it. Well, we're now using the Amazon on a different map. So we're going to go back to the horse Pronto. 270. Our smaller Massey should be able to pull this just fine. May run into some snags here and there, but it's going to work. We also need a small tipper. So let's go over here to tippers. And I'm thinking maybe the Joskin Transpace. There's a couple other ones I want to look at as well. Of course, we've got the Brantner, which is really cool. I like that one a lot. Let's see. What do we have all the way down here? Anything good? Anything different? Hmm. Uh, we're using the Stroutman already on a different map, so we can't use that. You know what? We had the Joskin on this map, and we got rid of it. 
It's not that I don't want to not have it. I just don't think we need that one yet. So let's go, let's go with the Brantner. I like the Brantner. Boom, 34,000 should be plenty. Trailer Borg tires, and we're going to go wides with that. Boom, baby. Okay. Now, another thing that we are going to do, I think I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get the IT runner here. Let's see. Main color. Is that that black down the center? It is. Can we do Massey? Ooh, we can do Massey. Let's get one of these, and we're going to use this. Let's see. Back into tip. Of course, we got to go back into tippers. We're going to use this on our big man trucks. We're going to basically have two of the exact same things on there. Silver, bang, bang, pow. Is that it? I think, <laughs> I think that's about it. So let's get everything kind of wrapped up, round up, and get it ready. Because we're going to take it back over there. Oh, and we need a flatbed too, don't we? We need a flatbed because we've got a lot of... Oh, it's not in there. Oh, bailing technology. That's right. we got a lot of stuff that needs to be moved. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do this. And since we've got a brand new update to this guy right here, boom. Well, got to start over. Here we go. Main color. Let's see. Do we go with a massy red on there? I think that's a little much in it. Uh, yeah, it's a little... It's just pushing it a little bit. Let's go with black. Rim color. We are going to find our silver. There it is. And, of course, we can't get up to design color again. Oh, my goodness. You know, we're going to have to use the mouse here. Design color. Let's go massy on that one. Boom. Or should we go black? Ooh, what does black look? Ooh, black looks way too good not to use. So let's get that purchased. Yes, please. Thank you very much. So we got a whole setup here. Now, let's start getting everything ready and get it moved. All right, so we're going to try something real quick because I really don't feel like driving this thing all the way over. So here's what we're going to do. I've done this in real life a couple of times, and it it works-ish. Uh, we need to find somewhere where we've got a bit of a ledge. I think right here is going to work just fine. Let's get that there. Okay. And now we need to back this up to it because I'm going to put the telehandler on the trailer. That's right. Oh, you heard me right. We're going to get the tail handler on the trailer. That way we can just drive it off when we get over there. Backing it off is easy, but getting it on here, that's providing to be a bit of a challenge because I've tried doing this on flat ground. I can get it up there roughly, but I can't get it to stay. Okay, so about right there. Good. Now, this should work. Oh, slow down. Don't push it. All right, so we take this and lift it, and it should push us. Oh, just about. Come on. Yeah. How's about that? What you think about that? Now, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Bring this down. Oh, my goodness. Let's bring this as far forward as we can because I know we're going to wreck. Oh, and we need to get centered on here as well. Is that good? Pull it forward till it stops, baby. Bring it down. Oh, a little too much. All's good, baby. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. I love it, I love it, I love it. And why do, I, why do I get in it every time and turn it off? Come on. Bring this around. Oh, I love it. And again, getting this thing off here is going to be easy because really you just kind of well, back up as fast as you can. Here we go. Check it out. Everybody is ready to go. Unfortunately, we do not have Follow Me installed. Uh, so we're going to be driving everything over piece by piece, little by little, one after another. We got a big, massy farm going, baby. All right, we've got everything over here. Let's go ahead and take the help window away and get in this. I wanted you guys to see this. Are you ready? Let's get a little bit of speed all the way right here. And go, go, go. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Wee! Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> we did it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can hear all the animals laughing. Yes, we are good. We are done. We brought everything over and we did a little bit of tree work while we were over here. We took care of some stuff, had some trees hanging out. I really didn't want around. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we are going to expand some fields. We got that. Let's see. What do we want to use? I think this guy right here is going to be perfect. So we've got a, let's see, yeah, some of the stuff on here we've left from the last time we did a Let's Play. Of course, we got rid of all the tractors. Everything was either sold off or sent over to uh, New Woodshire. 
And it's a great series. We're having a whole lot of fun over there. I'll tell you what, we're just having a ball. With this, what we've done here is I've taken this area and kind of cleared it so that we can come in and actually do like a proper like big field setup. And the way I want to do this is I want to do it like we normally would, where we would come in and actually run the first headland. So we're going to do exactly that. Let's see here. Bring this down. And allow create fields. Now this is going to be the tough part because I want to get this just right. I think that right there is exactly what we're looking for. Right there. Perfect. Good, good, good. And, oh, you know what? We really need to get rid of these trees. Um, yeah, hang on. These trees have got to go. There we go. A little bit of magic. What you guys think about that? Uh, limited fields. All right, perfect. So we are still good here. Let's come along, and we're just going to loop this right here. We're not going to get too close to the edge. I don't want to do that. Close enough, but enough to where we can hit one headland and the guy doesn't freak out. Speaking of the guy not freaking out, we still need to go buy a harvester. I totally forgot to do it. I was looking, I was like, ew, I didn't... I didn't do the harvester thing. <laughs> so we're going to have to go buy one. Totally cool. Totally easy. Very doable. I tell you what, I'm trying to keep this as straight line as possible, but it keeps going out of the way. No. Ugh. So we've got one huge field over there. As you guys know, we're making this field a little bit bigger. Now, we did this same thing in FS17 as well. We made this a really, really big field. And this is going to be the tough part right here is trying to keep this line straight. We can't hit a worker because it's, well, it's just not going to let us do that. So I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible without going side to side, anything like that. It seems to be going okay. Nonetheless, you do want to keep this nice and orderly, nice and straight. Don't mess it up. I can go right. I just don't want to go left. And then let's miss these trees. Very good. Very good. And we just roll through here. Yeah, we got all the nice little little uh, baby sheepies down there. We did get some more animals. So those of you that were in our last series, you know that, well, we had animals. Yes, we did. And we ended up selling pretty much all of those animals and getting rid of most of them. Uh, what we've done is we've come back in and I've repurchased those animals. So everything that we had, uh, we've gone back and bought 25 of each. So we've got 25 cows. Uh, 25 sheep in each of the two pens. There are two pens of sheep. And we also have uh, what was it? 25 pigs. Pigs are going to multiply very, very rapidly. That's normal. That is very normal. Speaking of normal, us doing a good job. Not normal at all. That is very, very abnormal. So now that we've got that part done, let's drop this. No, don't hire a worker. Let's drop that. Now let's spin this around because we have some more work to do and we can go just a bit faster, about a mile an hour faster if we put this on the back. There we go. Make sure, there we go, perfect. Now, let's get all this done. Now that everything is going over there, we've actually got the, what's it, the 8,000 series and the 7,000 series. Both of them are over there on plows right now, getting that whole field done for us. I don't know if we need both of them over there, but we've got them nonetheless. So we need to get this little guy to work. And I got a feeling we're not going to be able to pull this. I'm going to try. You better believe I'm going to try. But I just don't know if we've got it in us. There we go. Uh, it's pulling it. That's good. It's a little slow. I got to be honest with you. It's a little slow. 
We may have to take the, uh, the t wow. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Let me tell you what. Come on, get off of there. There you go. I think we need to bring it down just a little bit. Let's drop that off right there. Let's come around here because this is going to need to be customized. Boom, extensions, none. I don't want any extensions on there. I think that's why we're having problems. So let's customize it. There we go. Now the real question here is, did it take? No, it didn't take it all. Yeah, it just took like what it would have taken away from us, but we've still got our full amount. And I gotta tell you, this is pulling way easier. There's not a bunch of weight on the back now. We gotta get lime over here nonetheless. We gotta get over to 32 and 33. Now we did join 33, 32 and G1 together way back in the day, but G1 does not need lime on it we're gonna do it anyway don't get me wrong but it doesn't need it so we're gonna have to put it down ourselves we're gonna hit the top we're gonna hit twice here and we're gonna hit twice at the other end there we go now this may not even hire a worker I'm not expecting it to oh no look at that it did well I've been proven wrong now this will eh, be difficult to move but it seems to be doing okay i think this should be running it was at 12 miles an hour i believe this is not running at 12 miles an hour not at all we're getting up there we're getting up there hey this little massey is a boss yes it is this little massey is a beast and a half so we got that good 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 let's hit two of these two at the other end so it's got plenty of room to turn around and then we're gonna let it do its thing oh is this actually gonna go all the way to the end Look at that. Now, you know what? Dude just gave me some confidence because it made it all the way to the end. So, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about that. Here we go. Uh, you know what? Let's just pick up speed. Let's hit that one headland at the end. We'll get this done fast. We'll get back over and we'll do our thing. Now, fortunately for us, we've got a live stream to prepare for. We've got some stuff to do. Live stream's gonna be a whole lot of fun. We're gonna be on this map right here. We do have some cotton bells that need to be moved and we've got a lot of money. <laughs> we've got a whole lot of money and I don't want to have all that money. It just, seem, it just doesn't seem fair or right to have. But we still need to get that harvester, don't we? So let's do that. Let's set this guy on its uh, merry little way here. Let's get a headland done down here at the end. We really need to get that harvester. Let's go get it. Here we go. Now, do keep in mind, again, we are going to be buying modded headers. These are, oh, these? these are only available on PC, unfortunately. First thing we're going for is this guy right here. Main color, Massey Ferguson. You know we're going Massey. Now, do we go? Ooh, I don't like the black. There we go. Just keep it, keep it normal. So here, oh, what do we do? Go for red? We definitely go for the red. Will brand trailer borgs or Michelins. Now we are going to stick with the trailer borgs. As you know, this guy is a little bit front heavy. So we're going to keep that. We're going to keep the crawler tracks. We do need to change the brand over to Massey and the big engine. Of course we're going with the big engine. Why would we not purchase? There we go for 500 yeah, yes, grand. Yeah, five hundred and nineteen thousand five hundred dollars. That's a lot. Headers, headers time. Let's get ourselves one of these. Now we are going to go with a modded version right here. A rim color. Let's go silver, as we normally would. And main color, we want to find that Massey Ferguson red. I'm sure, it's around here somewhere. Stroutman, Crone. Portrait, Robotallic, Massey Ferguson Red. There we go. Now it is branded as a case, which does kind of stink, but it's okay. It is what it is. And we've got a corn header to match. This guy right here. Design color again. I think we're going to go with... Do we go with silver there? You know what? How about this? Let's go with a Massey Red right there with the ends on it. It's Crone. Man, why has it got to be everywhere? Quit messing with colors. Nobody asked you to mess with the colors. Massey, right there. And then this is going to be the silver. And of course, we're going to have to run around and see if we can find freaking silver. Come on. Where's silver at? Chrome. No. No. 
Please? Anywhere? No? Nobody. Guess we can't do what I was going to do, so let's... Oh, let's just go with the second way. There you go. That's the header we're going to put on. Purchase. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Boom. And here is our setup. Let's jump in. Yeah, I wanted to swap those colors on the corn header. I wanted the main color to be silver and the ends to be red. But, hey, it is what it is. Here we go. Get this. Got our corn header. Again, a little front heavy. Not going to lie. A little bit front heavy. Back this up. Grab that. Got it. As a matter of fact, we may actually swap out the colors on these and go all black with the headers. We got plenty of time to do that, so I'm not too worried about it. Swing around. All is good. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. That is going to be where we call it today. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you know, already, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. Happy to help you guys out. And hey, give us a hashtag, GoHamFam, if you guys made it all the way to the end. Gotta love to go ham fam. And hey, if you're not already part of the go ham fam, just hit that subscribe button. You can join us. We'd love to have you. Hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace. Peace.